Today I'm going to show you how you can create an infographic in less than five minutes using Visme's new content blocks feature. With this new feature, all you have to do is browse through a library of pre-designed content block templates that correspond to different sections of an infographic. All you have to do is drag and drop them onto your canvas area and then apply a color scheme with one click. So let's get started. So once you've created your free Visme account at visme.co with your name and email, all you have to do is click on the infographic option here at the top and then choose the first template here. So to start, all you have to do is click on any of these content blocks here that correspond to the header area of your infographic. And if you use the scroll bar here, you'll see that there are several uh, dozen of these that you can choose from. So I want to start with the first one. I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to drag it over to my canvas area and then let go when I position it exactly where I want it. So I'm going to put it right here at the top and then release the mouse button. When you do that, you'll see it locks into place. So next, I want to go on to the body content blocks. So what I can do here is click on this arrow to hide this menu. And then I can click on this arrow here to look at the body content blocks, which correspond to the body of the infographic. And then I can browse through here and see that there are several different types. I have icons combined with text. I have statistics and figures, charts and graphs, images combined with text, and diagrams as well, timelines, maps and comparison blocks. So there's plenty to choose from. So what I want to do here is start with this one. So I just position it just like the last one. I position it where I want it right below the last block. And then I release the mouse button and it locks into place. And then I can go further down to position my next content block. So let's say if I want to go with something like this, I drag and drop it into place. And then for the third block, let's say I want a map. So I can scroll down here. And then if you want to um, change the length of your infographic, you can simply click on this bar here at the bottom and just move it down. So that's how easy it is to resize your infographic. So here what I'm going to do is um, use this map and then drag it here and let go. And then I want also a footer area so that I can cite my, my sources and my references. So I want to extend this area a little bit more. And what I do is here I close this menu. And then I click on this drop down arrow. And I can choose here from several different styles. So let's say I want a footer like this one. So then I drag and drop it here. And I can extend this a little bit more. And then if I want to move this, all I have to do is create a selection area with my mouse and simply move this a little bit down. So then I'm done with my layout. And that took literally uh, less than a minute to do. Now what I want to do is customize this infographic with my own information. So let's say here I want to replace this image here with my own logo. So what I have to do is simply double click on this image and then choose the logo from any of my saved files. So let's say I have it saved here and I click on this file and click on open and you select the option replace selected image so you see there it automatically replaces that image that was there next what I want to do is customize this with my own text so to do that I can either copy and paste text that I have from another file or I can insert it manually so in this case I already have my text in a Google Doc so I'm going to go to that Google Doc and simply copy, copy and paste so here's my text and Here's uh, my introductory sentence, so I'm going to just copy this and then paste it over here. So I'm going to click on this text box and it automatically selects all the text and then I just press Control V to copy, I mean to paste. And there it is. And then I can change my uh, title by here typing in what it is I want to put. So I'm going to go back here to my document and it's 2016 year in review. So that's the name of this. And then I can do the same for the other um, snippets of text that I have here below these icons. So I can go back and take each of these bullet points and simply copy and paste them into these text boxes here. So now what I can do is replace each of these icons with my own icons. So let's say I want to replace this one with an icon related to uh, fast delivery. 
So what I can do here is go to the icon tool here and then type in a keyword related to, to my search. So let's say um, here I'm going to put hourglass. And then I can click on any of these. So let's say I click on this one and then I can simply click on this and delete it. And then resize this one and, and replace the old one. So you can do this for each of the different sections in your infographic. You can go and replace icons and customize the text with your own text. So what I'm going to do now is go back here and apply a color scheme to my entire infographic. All I have to do is click on this um, background icon here at the very top of my toolbar, and then I'll see a variety of color schemes that I can apply with a single click. So let's say if I want something to combine with the green logo, so I can click on this one, and I'll see it apply to my entire infographic. The only thing is that the icons that I've replaced, I have to adjust the color scheme. So if to do that, I'll just click on the icon and then go to the color swatch here at the very top. When I click on it, I'll see um, options for customizing each of the different colors. So here I have my theme color, so I'll simply click on this one for the outline. And then for the second color, I can click on one of these. And then I'm done. And next, you can also um, go to your footer area or any area in your infographic and also uh, link any of these sources or any of these icons to your social media account. All you have to do is click on the icon and then go to um, here the click icon at the, the link icon, sorry, at the very top of your screen. When I click on it, I'll see I can click or link this to a slide, link it to a pop-up, or link it to a website. So in this case, I want to link this to a website. So let's say I'm going to link this to visme.co. I can do that here and open in a new window and click Apply. And that's how easy to make this interactive if you want. And then finally, to publish your infographic, all you have to do is click on the Publish button at the very top of your screen. And then you'll see a URL generated, which you can copy and paste and share with anybody. And you can also make your project private. So you can click on this option here and then password protect it. So you can click on here and create any password to your project. And you can also make it not public. So it's not visible at all online. It's only visible to you and to the people within your Visme account that can access the project. Now, let's say if you want to download this, you can also download it as an image file, a JPEG, PNG, or a PDF file as well. So this is also good for when you want to print your project or you want to send it as an attachment in an email. And this is how easy it is to create an infographic with Visme's new content blocks feature. You can literally do it in a few minutes and then print it out or share it online. So stay tuned for more tips and hacks that we're going to be showing you for how you can make the most of Visme's new features in the future. Thank you.